Hey everyone, thank you for watching my video. As you can see, I have a pretty quiet channel, so this is the first real video that I'll be posting. The reason why is because I'm quite a fan of Louis Vuitton, and I accidentally bought a fake Louis Vuitton Speedy 25 bandolier in the Damier Ben print. That was very convincing, and I personally have not found a video out there that covers every aspect that would have actually helped me identify if the bag was authentic or not. I really wanted to make this video, but even how helps one person not buy a fake, I'd be happy. I hadn't realized how good the fakes were getting and had a false sense of confidence when I checked it myself. This was of course before I learned of the authentication services that are out there. There's been a few that were recommended to me for US and Canada, so I'll just post those in the description for you guys. I'm going to also go through things like packaging and the dust bags. I know that these don't determine if the bag itself is fake, but it can really help you make an overall decision if there's just too many red flags. So here are the two boxes. I'm going to keep the real one on the left and the fake one on the right uh, for this whole video. So you can see there's actually not that much difference and I'm assuming that you shouldn't always go by size because there's probably various box sizes, but if you actually flip them over, they both contain similar packaging details. The colors are only slightly off. It actually turns out with the real one, the orange is a little more orangey, but the logos seem mostly the same. I also wanted to show the ribbon. There is a slight difference between them. The fake one has kind of like a gold color and the font is smaller. Whereas the real one has a more orange font and uh, the font is larger. And if you actually felt it, you would be able to feel this like rubber raised texture. This one is raised, but it doesn't feel very rubbery. So with the key bags, I did notice with the fake, there's a couple things going on. The blue doesn't match like the ribbon color or the little blue tags that are in the box. And one of the bigger indicators, besides the logo being pretty messy actually, is the sewing being messy. So you can see Louis Vuitton takes great care in the detail of even the packaging. You can see that uh, even the fake has the tag on the inside that says the material and some numbers. The actual fabric itself feels very similar, it's very soft. Here are the locks and keys. They're pretty similar. The fake one's kind of got more of a rose gold look to it. Now for the numbers, the real one has 439 and um, of course on the keys the number matches there too. And then on the fake it has uh, 448 with the matching one. I've actually kind of noticed that 448 and 315 are common numbers on fake locks so maybe just check that out first if you see a lock with that number. I know that it can be a real number so it's just something to pay attention to. These are the dust bags and as you can see there is an obvious color difference between the two and a size difference. The real is more of a lighter color. The fabric itself actually feels pretty much the same. If you look at the logo itself on the fake, it's a very dark print. Um, and one of the actual biggest indicators is the difference between the I and the U um, here and here. Um, so there's an inconsistency there, which would be a red flag. The real one, the logo is not as dark. It actually looks a little more um, faded in, if that makes sense and then the font spacing is correct with this one. I kind of noticed that with the fake one, font is so dark, you can see it right through the other side of the bag, where with the real one, it's a little less obvious, so that could be a sign as well. And they even put in the tag to say the material. The biggest thing that I noticed with that is the spacing between the 100% and cotton. Even that kind of thing matters. And then with the real one, they have added the appropriate spacing, but otherwise the tags mostly look the same. Okay, so these are the straps. Um, actually, the strap was one of the things that I started to realize I had made a mistake, and I'll show you why. 
with the fake one they have these small leather pieces to hold the belt in and on the real one you can see that they added a detail groove and they're a bit wider so that's a big indicator to watch for otherwise the sewing itself is pretty convincing the hardware is also pretty convincing another thing to watch for is the underside where they sewed the two pieces of leather together uh, it's pretty convincing still actually this just seems like a sloppier job honestly and the most obvious difference is actually the leather itself if you look carefully the fake has a shine to it where the real does not it's very matte looking The hardware is only slightly different, honestly. It would be really hard to tell unless you had it up next to uh, another one. And these are the bags themselves. They both came folded. So these are the bags unfolded. I'm just gonna go through the biggest details that I think are most noticeable. The canvas is actually almost the same. With the fake one, it has a little more purple undertones, I would say, but otherwise it kind of feels and looks the same. The biggest thing is actually the font on the hardware. So this is the real one. And with the fake one, the hardware engraving is not anywhere near the same font. With the heat stamps, it can be really hard to tell unless you're really good at comparing the fonts. The real one is a US bag and the fake one is supposedly made in France. I actually went based on the leather with this because in photos you can kind of see that the leather is porous, I would ex describe it. And then with this one, there's a obvious sheen and doesn't have kind of the same texture. So there is a 25 printed uh, just under there. It's the real one and the fake one. So the hardware between the two are actually fairly convincing, especially these zipper poles. The zippers both kind of feel the same, opening and closing. With the handles, there's quite a big difference just in the leather. So like I said before, it's shiny. Very big difference in the leather, I would say. And then there's a difference in the actual font on the hardware and the logos on the print. The inside of the bags, the red, mm, about the same. The only thing that I could tell was that in the fake one, the fabric where the piping is is a bit darker, whereas with the real one, it's uh, pretty much the same color. In the fake one, here is the inside leather tabs. Once again, the hardware engraving is wrong, but I have everything in the right place. Inner pocket in the correct place. And with the fake one, the only thing I really noticed was that the bag was a bit bigger and was actually flimsier feeling, I guess. It bends more. This one's pretty rigid. The hardware is pretty much the same looking. The zippers, the zippers a bit stickier on this one, I guess. And something that I didn't realize was that the kind of protective layering that they had in the previous speedy bags, they, they no longer put them in them. So this doesn't have a, a layer at all when the thick one does. So for the date codes, this one is supposedly made in France. The date code is SR2169, which means it was made in France the 26th week of 2019. And I have a US bag. 
5230, which is the 53rd week of 2020. The difference between these two is the sizing of the tab. The real one's a bit longer, and of course the engraving on the hardware. So the authentic one, surprisingly, is not that deep of a stamp. And then with the fake one, it's a pretty deep stamp. It's a different font. They seem kind of closer together. This one would be considered a valid date code if you just plugged it into one of those date code checkers on websites. However, I did learn that certain date location codes indicate where a particular print is usually made. And I found out that SR is not a valid location for the Damier prints to be made. A more common one would be like SP and of course uh, SD, which my authentic one has. I will actually share a blog post link that I found that conveniently has a list of known date codes and like what prints are made at those codes. So you can find that in the description as well. And one of the most surprising things, well, maybe not, is uh, the weight. The fake one is quite a bit heavier, actually, than the real one is. The leather feels a lot lighter, or this one quite a bit heavier. Don't mistake in that for being authentic or better quality, I've discovered. In terms of smell, I wouldn't actually say that this one smells too plasticky or anything like that. There was nothing really red flaggy about the smell, because, you know, the, the new bags smell kind of like glue and whatever. You might be thinking, you know, why bother paying so much for a bag that's so easily replicated? My personal reason is I want to try and respect artistic copyrights, and I don't want to support the slave or poor labor conditions that some of the replica bags are made in. Thanks so much, guys, for watching uh, my video. I hope this helped you in some way. Feel free to ask extra questions if I missed anything.